Hi there, it's Kathy at One Sweet Shop. It's been a while since I've been on my channel. There's been a lot happening in life, it seems. Is this inside out, backwards? I'm not sure if it's backwards or not. Just a little table I found. I've been right in the middle of moving and it seems like my craft room is in chaos and every other room is in chaos. <laughs> But I needed to take a break from unpacking boxes and trying to find homes for things. And I still haven't moved my bookshelves, so I have nowhere to put anything. And I found some goodies as I was unpacking. And I thought I would share them with you because I just love these. Now, I've been saving Christmas paper for I don't know how long. It's probably been years. And... I found a whole box of Christmas paper. You know what? I don't think this is the only box of Christmas paper I have. I am quite positive that I have more Christmas paper. And I thought that some of these are so old that I wanted to share them with you. Because I thought this is just so cool. I can't wait to be making things. Look at this. This is like crazy wild. It's pink. I just love this. American Greeting Club, I think. Wherever that was. Trees. Look at these old snowmen and these little, says Coots, Hallmark Coots. I don't know what that is, but I do like it. It's so cute. And kittens, who doesn't love kittens, right? Look at these cute little kittens. So I thought I'd share this paper with you because some of it is so wild. And you know, I might eventually cut up pieces and make booklets out of this and share. You know, I may put some in my store or something and just share a bunch. Look at that. Those are like candelabras. Wow, that's pretty. I've never seen anything like that before. And because uh, I have so much of it and, you know... I'm not sure if in my lifetime I will ever get through all this paper. Maybe if I made a million Christmas books. I don't know. But this one has that texture to it. Like, that's really old, I think. I think it's really old. Because I don't remember ever seeing paper like that. What is this stuff? Oh, look at that. That's from Coots, too. Copyright Canada. Hmm. Oh, my kitty cat's scratching at the door. Anyway, a lot has happened in the last month or so, um, well, a month and a half, I guess. Um, my puppy dog passed away, so that was really sad. She's been with us for so long. Um, and she got uh, thyroid disease. Then she got muscle deterioration, and she wasn't able to walk very well anymore. And then she had a heart attack, and that was it. She was gone. So it's been a pretty sad time. Uh, but I do have my grandchildren here, and they have a puppy dog. And so that puppy dog is, like, keeping us company. So look at this pretty stuff. This is, like, acorns. I've never seen something like that before. What's this? This is even the wrapping paper, McLeod's. Boy, I haven't seen a McLeod's store in 25 years. This is some blue stuff. Blue trees. This is back when packaging, when we were kids, and the packaging was so colorful. It was so pretty. And uh, those presents look so good under the tree. Look at that. It's just shiny. This stuff was all used. Some of it was used. Most of it's new, though. Most of it's in packages. What's this one? For your wedding. This is a wedding wrap. So it's kind of cute with the bride and groom. But uh, a lot of this I probably... This one's called Rust Craft. Probably a lot of this stuff I'm not really going to use. I, I don't know why I was saving it. I'm just... I'm a hoarder of Christmas paper. I think I've been saving the Christmas paper even from our own Christmases for the last... 20 years, but look at these beautiful poinsettias. If they were cut out, they would look fantastic on something. 
That would be so nice to, um, to decoupage on something. And even this, this is like tissue paper. This would be beautiful. Oh, and then I found some Victorian paper. And then some more shiny stuff. And I found these little reindeers. These reindeers are adorable. They remind me of a lot of graphics, like from uh, the Wonders Artist or whatever. They have the little graphics of the deers or bambies. I can't, I can't believe this pile of paper, though, that I found. And I know I have another box because I'm sure that I went back to the house the other day. And I'm sure I packed another box that was filled with wrapping papers that I've been saving. Me and my wrapping paper hoard here. Look at these pretty little birds. And I think I saved this because my mom loves Scotty dogs. And I think I saved that paper because of that. But of course, I like to go and buy a little bit of paper here and there and just put a few few pieces inside of a journal. If I'm working on a Christmas journal or something, I like to put a couple pieces of this paper in. There's a partridge in the pear tree. And here's some other red robins. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is something I didn't know I had. What is this? Oh, look, it's a little, uh, it's like a precious moments, baby. Season greetings. Well, isn't that just the cutest? I don't even know if you can see that whole thing. But it is just the cutest. <laughs> it's inside the wrapping paper. Maybe I'll hang it on the wall. And that's some pretty bells. Those are absolutely gorgeous. There's some little angels. Some checkers. And this has some more embossing. This is embossed paper. I don't know how old the embossed paper is. But it's probably pretty old. And here's some more embossed paper. Because I haven't seen that paper around for years. Probably not since my grandma was alive. I think she used to wrap in that. And so that's the long, that's the 80s. So oh, look at those. Boy, some of this paper is so, so pretty. And I, you know, I didn't even know I had these ones. I knew I had the other ones that I packed. Because I remember packing them. That was just last month. And... But I had totally forgotten that I had these. And probably these are the ones. Oh, look at the little candies and stuff. These are so cute. Oh, there's some blue ones too. These are so cute. Like, can you imagine the packages that were wrapped with all these back in the day? There's another piece. That one's a pretty big piece. And then pink poinsettias. That's really pretty. What's this stuff? Bells, more bells and checks. I don't know if you're into Christmas wrap. I don't know. I seem to collect it. It's like a magnet to me. I look at Christmas paper. I was actually, I've been on the quest actually to look for some pink and blues. You know, like um, the mint pink and mint blues. That's what I've been on a quest to find lately. And then what's this? This is like clear wrap I was saving. I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> why do we save the things that we do? Well, this is like curating Christmas stuff, <laughs> I guess. Look at that stuff. That's just beautiful wild. I love that. There's some really shiny trees. So I don't know. Are you like me? Do you hoard Christmas paper? Look at these. Now, I'm going to make some Christmas journals, and I'm going to cut these out, and I'm going to put some of these on the Christmas journals, because I think that's just beautiful, and I found a couple of them. So, I was just like, whoa, look at my goodies. This one here was not quite open, so let's see what's inside of it. This has some really cute squares in here. That's really cute. It's shower paper. And then there's some brown wrapping paper with stripes. That would look really good on journal pages. But I really like this because, you know, you could even cut these out and uh, put them on the front of a journal. So I don't know. I might do that too. And then I found this and I thought, oh, it's so beautiful. It's these little babies in prams and little rocking chairs. They're so cute. I have such a small piece of it. 
but it must have been one that was just tucked in somewhere. But look at all those cute little babies in there. That would be so adorable in a baby, baby album. And this one says, a gift from heaven above, a precious little angel to cherish and love. Look at that. I love baby paper too. Oh goodness, and what's this one? This one's inside of a bag. I obviously bought it at a sale or something in the bag. So that has some really pretty paper and some sunflowers. Isn't that gorgeous? And then that's pretty paper. And then that's like a tissue. This is a really pretty tissue. That would look so nice decoupage on something. This is some older paper. This reminds me of paper in the 70s. That would be so beautiful. Back then. And then this too. Those are all wedding wedding papers. And then I found this. And I think this is Christmas paper again. Yeah. But it's some um, little birds. Look at these little birds. Oh, they're adorable. They're just adorable. And then I thought, oh, this would make perfect little framed toppers for the fronts of journals. Yeah, I'm not even done yet. There's so much of this. I found a bunch of Santa faces. They're so cute. It's like the old fashioned Santa. Some more of those Santa faces. And then I found some more baby paper. And this stuff is so cute. It's got polka dot everything on it. And I just love polka dots. Reminds me of the good old days. Let me see. Oh, I guess that side was open in here. I cut the other side open. <laughs> oh, well. I'm not going to keep the wrap anyway. I'm just going to... These are cute little babies. Oh, these are so sweet. So there's a little bit of everything I found inside my little tickle box of wrapping papers. More baby paper and more baby paper, I guess. Oh, what's hiding in here that's dark? What the heck is that? Chips. Well, who would have known that would be hiding in the baby paper? Like, what the heck? <laughs> it has nothing to do with babies. Unless their father's a sailor. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty, though. Very shiny. That's kind of cool. What else do I have here? Oh, here's some more. I think I saved that just so I could use these, um, use these, um, snowflakes. Maybe to make little bags or shakers or something. And then here's some more snowflakes. I think this was actually off some gift wrap. But I like the, I like the print. I'll tell you that this paper is 24 years old. You know why? It was, <laughs> I wrapped a gift to my uh, ex-husband in that. Because <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> and I went, holy cow, I haven't done that in a lot of years. <laughs> so that's pretty funny, actually. That I've saved it. So, hey, it's vintage now. <laughs> There's some happy birthday paper. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle paper. I probably bought that with my little boy who is 30 something not quite 30 pretty soon um when he was little i probably wrapped his presents in that probably when he was i don't even know when 1989 it says so no that's way before him but uh wow that's cute then I found this package of paper. And this package of paper was really interesting. Because look at this. Silver and pink babies. It must be for a wedding. So all these little cherubs are all happy for the bride and groom. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. This, this kind of paper reminds me so much of my grandma. And, um, yeah... She would wrap stuff in paper like that with little cherubs and things. Little whimsical things. Yeah, it just takes me a stroll down memory lane. Look at this pink and gold. This is so pretty. So vintage. And that. Just little umbrellas. Is there another type in there? What is this? Is this the same stuff? I don't even know. Oh, maybe it is. 
Yep, some umbrellas. These are not cute though. It has a little bit of pink, pink tips in it. And this one's all blues. Blues and silver, I guess that is. Back when they were just discovering maybe the color on gift wrap. I'm not sure. Look at that. Best wishes of happiness. To love and cherish forever and ever from this day forward. To have and to hold. Oh, that's so cute. That's really nice. Bridal shower paper. Gee, I just have a tickle trunk of paper here. Of all sorts of them. I'm so happy I found this, though. You know, I really wanted to do something with them. Like make journal fronts or something like that with them. Just because... I have a lot of paper. Like, I'm a real paper hoarder. And I have to admit I'm a paper hoarder. What was that? A whole 63 cents once upon a time. <laughs> so, and I'd like to really do something. Look at these babies here. There's, oh, there's a card with it, too. Wow. That's so cute. Too bad it's not dated, though. Be nice to know when the paper was made. They should stamp the date on every piece of paper. And we'd all know, right? But maybe as I'm opening it up and moving it around, I'll figure out when it was made. There's a little card that went with it, though. Well, what else? Oh, my goodness, there's still more. Well, I think this was kind of modern paper. This is Merry Christmas. There's some trees. I guess that's it. And then this gold paper here. Here's some more of those birdies that are so adorable. Oh my gosh, there's more paper yet. Okay, now what does this one have? I think this stuff is modern paper, but maybe it's made to look old. I don't know. Let's see if we can get it to flip open. What is this? Okay, there's red. And then there's poinsettias. More poinsettias. And more red. So there's just two kinds in that one. And then what's this? Yeah, this paper doesn't look too, too old. Winnie the Pooh? Oh, no. Winnie Paper Ink. So there's that one, this one, this one, and this one in there, I guess. Oh, this one, this one, this one, this one. So, some kind of variety inside that pack of paper. But I think I bought this one, I'm not sure when. Probably a few years back at least. But it does have a UPC. So it's a lot more, more modern than some of the other ones I've collected. Somehow it got into the box. Maybe I was actually going to wrap with this one here. Look at these cute ones. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of dancing around here. I was sitting on my foot and it was falling asleep. So I had to move. I'm going to be having pins and needles right away. This whole thing is all this type of paper. So this is really cute. And this whole one is this type of paper. I don't know. Which one do you find you like the best? Like, do you like the ones with the babies and the whimsical or the textured Christmas stuff or the shiny foil Christmas stuff? Like, wow. Or stuff like this that has all these different colors. You sure don't see paper like this anymore. You know, when they're first learning how to print on paper and stuff. Like, stuff like this, too. This is just so old. It's just... I can remember wrapping up something from my sister's baby shower, and that's like 40 years, you know, in paper like that. So, I love this stuff, though. It's really hard for me to part with stuff like this, because this so reminds me of my grandma. And this reminds me of my son, so. But, uh... I sure love all this paper. I'm going to have such fun. And, you know, I'm going to find that other box. I have a whole box, and it's it's a big box. And I think I had a stack of paper about that wide. That was all vintage, vintage wrapping paper. And I was saving it because I was starting to cut little book book pages, and I thought I'd make some journals filled with just paper. I don't know where I got that idea. I just thought I'd try that. And I ended up not doing that. So I just kind of had that paper sit around. But um, when I find it, I'll show you that stuff too. Because 
Some of this stuff is absolutely amazing. I just love it. And uh, I can't wait to use it on something. And I can't wait to share some of it too. So, but I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted on that kind of stuff because Lord knows when I'm going to find some time to do anything these days. I keep trying. Um, I have a couple orders for some some journals, which I'm thinking I've got to get working on here. But uh, as soon as I unpack more of my paper and cutters and glues and stamps and things like that, I can get started on things. So what do you think is good ideas to use this type of paper for? I'm going to have to look up on YouTube and see what other people are doing with it because, you know, maybe someone has this fantastic idea. Me, I would love to make tags out of it and just have all these little tags with these little cherubs and things on them and stuff. But uh, I'm sure there's a lot of other ideas that people could be using. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if I find my other box of paper, I'll let you have a peek at that too. And maybe one of these days, once I get this whole schmoz here cleaned up and in order i'll have to show you my new craft room but you have a nice evening and i'll see you again bye bye